If a group of wolves are called a pack and a group of sheep sheep are called a flock, what is a group of Karens called? Oh, that's right. A homeowners association. <laughs> that's so bad. Welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. I'm the Aussie idiot and let's get in. I'm still laughing at that joke. <laughs> it's not even that funny. Let's get into the clips. Here we have a person who's minding her own business. He's just sitting in a cafe on a laptop doing some work when an old guy decides to come in and sit at a table and start talking to her about her life and other bits and pieces along those lines. Here's a clip. But the real question is, someone who's mentally handicapped has a license plate that says that too. Then you know the driving is going to be really bad. So you stay away from it. You're not wrong. Don't tell me you're actually working from here. Yeah, I've been here, yeah. Are you a writer? Yeah, I've been here for a while. I'm actually no, no, about no, to are go. You, are you a writer? Are you published? Do you write things that get published? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully? You mean it's never occurred? Hmm? It's never occurred? No. But you hope to? Someday. What do you write about? Uh, Self-help. Self-help? Mm -hmm. Okay. You look too young for that. You haven't had enough life experience yet. Well, thanks. No, no, seriously, seriously. Yeah. Well, if you're going to tell people how to help themselves, you should be older and you should have gone through all kinds of terrible, terrible stuff. Right. Then you're qualified to give advice. Totally. Now, now, if you're young and you've gone through a lot of terrible stuff, you're probably qualified. Just to say. That doesn't it make sense. Mm -hmm. Did you want someone giving you advice who knew nothing about the problem? Who's to say I don't know anything? Well, have you read have you read a really difficult life? I don't really think that matters. Pardon me? I don't really think that's part of it. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Okay. Well, if that is your opinion, you and you are entitled someone, to your opinion. If you wanted someone to teach you how to win the Olympics, wouldn't the person have credibility if they had actually won the Olympics? Mm-hmm. Now, as opposed to somebody who sat on their couch for 30 years, the guy on the couch isn't going to sell too much. To be, to be frank, I really didn't ask for your opinion. I know, but I'm just full of opinion. So, well, you can pick them somewhere else if you like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I just mm -hmm. want to help you. Yeah, I don't need help, but thank you. I appreciate well, it. You might be. I don't need help, but thank you. I mean, the question of the day here is just, what was the guy thinking? Like, is he just that, does he feel that self-entitled? Like, he, it's like, yep, this person here who's clearly doing their own thing, doing something on the computer, I'm going to sit down in front of them, I'm going to try and talk to them. Yeah, that's right, they're going to enjoy talking to someone because they're clearly lonely and they're do they've got nothing better to do than look at their computer, so they can have the time to talk to me. And then criticizes her about writing and potentially doing self-help stuff and says, oh, you need to be there this, this, and this in order to do that. And yes, I get that to do and to be able to really do self-help, you either need to be very educated in whether, like you go down the, like all the various different learning stuff, you need to be a therapist or you've just experienced some pretty wacky things in life itself. But does she need to tell you right there and there what she's gone through in life, what she's done to be able to write like this? Like genuinely, who cares? Here we watch as a customer has a fight with the manager of this fast food restaurant and it's not the fight you'd, you'd expect. It, it's the fight on who looks the ugliest. <laughs> I already know that, Jay! Hey, you don't do so, girl. You better take it. Take it, my baby. Please, take it. Okay, I got you, sir. Oh, baby. Okay, no, you're not. 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 You're not.
these are the type of annoying people in public that I like. They just argue with you over stupid semantics that no one particularly cares about. They just do it for the shites and giggles, which... I mean, at the end of the day, this doesn't harm anyone, aside from it, unless you take people calling you ugly as an actual offence, which some people do, so, yeah. This next one's a pretty interesting one, so basically what's happening here is that the people who are filming, they were taking a photo, taking photos in the art gallery. One of the staff members saw them doing this and decided to just query them about it, tell them, like, some etiquette things and stuff along those lines. Anyway, the person behind the camera decides to say that, decides to put some form of assumption that it's racist. Yeah, yeah, here's, here's a clip, you know. People ask for permission. Just that sometimes it feels a wee bit awkward for other visitors. Ah, uh, okay. But I'll just not leave you to no, it. No, it's okay. Let me uh -huh. speak to you. Um, whilst we've been here, there's literally been no one here. Uh -huh. I'm aware, like, I've been stood in the corner out of everyone's way. This lady wanted to have a look. I moved to the side. Mm -hmm. She had a look. That's great. I've been that's okay. Obviously, I've not been here. This is not a photo shoot. Uh -huh. In fact, there were two other people here with a professional camera. Nobody said anything to them. Uh -huh. I'm here with a phone. Yeah, so no, it seems okay. a bit awkward that like policy. you picked on us. To be honest, no, with I'm you. not picking on anybody. I've just, I've just got here myself. Okay, right. I've been aware she's been stood there watching me. Uh -huh. It's a bit, yeah, of a weird atmosphere for her to just be staring at. Right. Me okay, no worries. I'll let you go all the way then. Okay. All right. Thanks. Do people have to get permission if they're here with a phone? I Not with a phone, gallery. it's just that sometimes, see if someone's sort of, especially when they're taking photographs in front of the artwork a lot. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're allowed to photograph the artwork, mm -hmm. but it's just, it, it's, it's a kind of complicated thing. But yeah, even sometimes if people are filming or taking photographs with their phone, they may ask for permission, depending on what they're using the photographs for as right. well. We actually even asked a member of the Glasgow Museum staff to leave this gallery the other day because he came in and he was recording and he hadn't asked for permission. Ah, but he's museum staff uh -huh. will be for but, something? Uh-huh. Well, I don't know what he was doing it for, but he right. thought because he worked for Glasgow Museums that that would be okay, he would be able to do it. But he was still said, no, you need to ask permission. I'm he was asked here to leave. like everyone else. Aye. So, no, no, it's not a know. problem. No, yeah. I was just obviously because my colleague had passed on her consent, concerns. Can I ask what the concerns were? No, it was just that I think she thought you yeah, were probably like, having a photo shoot or something. Oh. Yeah, because people do it sometimes in here. I dress nice. If she uh -huh. thought it was a photo shoot, that's on her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't help that I look uh -huh. nice. Do you know yeah. what I mean? No, you're I'm here like everyone thing. else having a look. Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah, no, there's not so, a problem. I'm sorry if I made you feel awkward. Yeah, you did, and she made me feel really uncomfortable. Right, I'm really sorry if I did. Yeah. Can't apologise for her, but apologise for me. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. When there was literally someone with a professional camera here, mm -hmm. and you didn't stop them, but like me on an iPhone, it's like... Uh -huh. I never saw anything with a camera. Was that before I got here? No, you were here. Was I sorry? Yeah, I'm and so was she. Right, I'm sorry, I was probably just listening to what she was yeah, saying. Yeah, the, their camera was even making sounds, uh -huh. so I assume that would be maybe distracting to people that are trying to view art. Yeah, no, no, it's just, it's sometimes when people are taking photographs in front of the artwork, that's when it sort of becomes... That's what they were doing Yeah, there. right, I, I apologise, right, there's not an issue. Yeah. Alright, I'm really sorry if I've upset you. Yeah, you have a bit, I'm really not going to lie. I'm really sorry. I just think if you're going to come at me for like a photo shoot, the people that are here with a professional uh -huh. camera, with their clicker going off, yeah. it's a bit odd that like... I'm the only one that's here being mm -hmm. like, do you have permission? Yeah, no, I'm, I said I'm sorry, I can only okay. I've, I've apologize. Can I get the other lady's name, please? I, I don't think that's really fair for me to give you her name. Oh. Although oh. she's wearing the name badge, her name's Andrea. But oh. I, I'm sorry if I've made you feel, I'm Susie, but I'm really sorry if I've made Thank you feel you. awkward. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Bye bye. This entire argument went on for way, way, way longer than necessary. Like the worker just like was just pointed out some things and then was on her way. She said she apologized if it caused any inconvenience and apologized if if she felt if she felt offended or something from it, like stress some of those lines and it's just that's what there should have been to it. It didn't need to continue to go down this path of extending this entire thing, saying, oh, but there's other people around doing this as well. It's like, maybe they haven't seen them yet. Like, there's just so many layers of what goes on sometimes. And I, I feel like this clip isn't exactly the own that you would think it is when you were posting it. It just seems silly. Here we have a very interesting clip and situation occurring. So what's happened here is this guy's on his break from work and he's come to the local Arby's, he's gone through the drive-thru in order to get some food to eat for on his break. It took them over 15 minutes to serve him and according to what he says, they served multiple people who got there after him before him, so he asked for a refund. Apparently, the manager on site says that Arby's don't give refunds or that she can't do a refund because a general manager isn't in the store. Anyway, here's the clip. So I ordered my food and it took them 
15 minutes to get my order. I canceled my order because it took so long to get my order. Nobody came and brought me my order, so I wanted a refund. As soon as I tell them I want a refund, they bring the food. I saw two people behind me go past me, and you're telling me I can't get a refund. And what's your name? Bethany. Bethany. So I can't get a refund, Bethany. I can replace your food. I don't want my food replaced. I just want a refund. I want my money back. Because y'all service was horrible. It took y'all 15 minutes to give me my food. I'm working right now. So I just want a refund. That's all I'm asking for. I just want my money back. I just gave you guys my money. So it shouldn't be that hard to give me my money back. general manager right now i cannot do refund for you uh you have a manager and you're the are you the manager okay so if you're the manager you can give me a refund now if y'all want to go famous on tiktok and make your business go down because you don't want to give me a refund because you don't tell me you can't give me a refund and i don't want the food now i can replace so, it for you i don't want my food replaced i want the money i want my money back that i just gave y'all Literally 15 minutes ago that she had me sitting in this line for it. You served two people behind me and I'm not leaving this line until I get my refund. And y'all's line will be backed up. What you say? You gotta be a star. Like this line will be backed up till I get my refund. Y'all already wasting my time. I'm working. I would never come back to this place again. This woman just told me she can't give me a refund. Wasting my time, and now she's going in there getting my money. But she just told yeah, me she can't do I'm this. Still get so take your money well, you're definitely going to get more than in trouble. And oh. do what? Do, get out the line and do it. Considering how she would eventually give him a refund in order to get him to go away once she realizes that, oh, he's not going to leave until I give him a refund, I think it's fair to say that, yeah, they could give a refund. She just didn't want to do so for one of many different possible reasons. And I would probably say the more likely reason to this is she didn't want to give a refund because then she would probably have to explain what happened and how we got here to the general manager. And considering it took 15 minutes in order for this person to get their meal in an Arby's that doesn't seem to be that busy, at least what's apparently happening here. I don't know. It, it took 15 minutes to go through a drive through and multiple other people have pulled through before this guy, even though they came after him. It wouldn't look good on the manager who's here this day. So, yeah. She was trying to see if she can replace the food, even though that's clearly not the thing he was upset about in this situation anymore. Here we got a crazy Karen just harassing people at a drive thru. Oh, Come on. What's up? What's up? Right here. What's, what? up? What's up? You want to keep her on your That's right. I'm not the kind of police oh, on you. Oh, I'm not God. the kind of police on you. Because I am. Bye. Bye. That's crazy, D. This is she about to go to jail, D. Oh, she about to go to Dude, she about to go to jail. True arbiter of chaos over there, just causing random nonsense and true lawyer of not giving an absolute whatever. <laughs> I want what she's having. I'd like to just be that carefree and do stupid shit and then get myself in a lot of trouble. That'd be some fun. Not really, but <laughs> that was interesting. In sex clip, we watch a Karen go through five different reasons of excuses and why she's in the right. Seventy-six. Give cents. me my change. Yes, ma'am. It's eleven dollars. Give me and my change. Yes, ma'am. It's eleven seventy-six. Why you videoing something? Give my change. Cause video whatever you want to video. Give me my damn change. Oh, mm -hmm. we will not be back to this restaurant. Do y'all know how many times we have been to this restaurant? 
and to be insulted by this man about a soda in a cup, we will not be back. Sorry, man. Nobody got no Facebook or Twitter, no one else will be back. We will not be back in this restaurant. You go crazy about a f***ing drink. Like, I don't want to pay you so Let me show you how much money I have in my f***ing purse. If I have to pay, I can pay you for a f***ing drink, you f***ing hoe. Okay. You f***ing hoe. Have a nice about day. About a f***ing two dollar drink. Thank you. To ever try me because I'm black? You think you can try me about a f***ing soda because I'm black? Okay. So I got three dollars to give you a f***ing keep all the motherf***ing soda. Keep all the have a nice day. Man, gotta love it. First off, she just pulls off. Oh, you know how often I come here and how I'm never going to come again because of this guy? And then second, she pulls out. You see how much money I have? I can pay you if I want to. And then she pulls the fucking race card of all things at the same time. It's like, pick what thing you want to use to be a victim here. Because try to use all of them at the same time doesn't work. It just makes you seem petty and stupid. Especially considering you ripped the drink out of your daughter's hand and threw it back in the restaurant as you left like holy shit <laughs> next we have a karen who decided to go off with a bunch of girls who are watering flowers in their yard i'm lifted you don't need a name need you a need to get away need you need to go somewhere if you don't know you need to go somewhere karen out here making little girls cry for watering plants at a friend of ours house and you're the new karen you need to go somewhere karen welcome to the internet karen Welcome to the internet, making little girls cry for watering flowers. The new Karen, welcome. First of all, how do you, how are you insulting these kids? Obviously, you must have stepped on the property. Have all these little girls crying? Welcome to the right. neighborhood, Karen. Something just don't smell right with me. Well, you don't, don't smell right. Yeah? You don't smell you right, Karen. You can't handle your control right now. You, you don't smell you right, Karen. You can't handle your control right now. Okay, Karen. See you later, Karen. Please do stay here. Right here. Go handle the kids. They live here. You're too busy at fault. They're watering the plants like they're supposed to, Karen. She's walking away. No, no, she tried to take my kids These kids have no recollection on what's going on, sweetheart. Okay, Karen. Christina. Okay. Isn't it like some form of potential law that you're breaking when you're causing this much distress in a person because of your own actions in someone's own property? Like, yeah, you're on the sidewalk. Technically, you're not trespassing, but you're causing a lot of distress to the people who are living there, especially the kids, because of your own action. What? The, why are people like this? Like, genuinely speaking, why? Does she just get a kick out of making kids cry? Like, is that what this is? Next, we got a Karen who went all entitled when she was attempting to get a SIM card for a phone or something. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna call the cops first, Mark, because this is the worst. So this I've ever had, and I've been with Verizon for five years, so I've never had customer service like this. You can if you want to. I'm sorry, what? Was I talking to you? Have you been standing here? Yes. Do you have any clue what's going on? Shut the up. Can you leave? How about no? I call the cops. I don't care who you call. Because literally, all I sat there and said was that I'm going to call her tomorrow because this is terrible. When literally I said I could go to another carrier because I, I've done this before. All they did was hand me SIM cards. You say, and you could. I'm like, that's you, bad customer I'm service. You that's options not, and you're not listening to me. Sir, whenever I, eh, you don't work here and I'm not talking to you. She doesn't want to eh. I'm trying to give you your options. Eh. You don't accept you shut the fuck up. what we can do. Go ahead. You speak when spoken to. Go ahead. Like I said, anyways. Yeah. Um, I'm giving you your options. So the number for customer service. That's right. He's customer addressing customer. the customer that he's speaking to first. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how this works. Can you please come in here and address this? Talking to me. So you thank you. I actually cannot because I was speaking to you, and you need to step out of my way because literally standing in front of me. 
and trying to be rude Back is not necessary. Back up. Hey, How you want to get up? Huh? Shit talking my wife, this dog. Okay, he, he, huh? he wasn't shit talking. Huh? Uh, she taught me positive. Absolutely. Huh? Standing she in front me, of boss. me, telling me uh, act, hey. as if I'm not standing here. Huh? Let's go. But I'm going to address Ashley. Is that her name? Yes, ma'am. Because all I did was come in here and ask you for SIM cards, and your attitude was completely shitty. And then you sitting here trying to tell me about my attitude. We're not able to. I did, after you told me about my attitude. You're not my father nor my husband. I don't need your opinion. And then to come step right in front of me as if I'm not speaking and I was addressing him. Uh-uh. Get some business about yourself. No. You have to piss on yourself. Stupid ass mother. You were the one being incredibly disrespectful that entire time to both of them. I'm incredibly- He did nothing to you. Don't care. And I he was talking to him that- only. He's trying to help you and he won't listen. He wasn't helping me. He wasn't listening to me. Because from was. the time he I walked in here, he tried to tell me that I ordered a phone. I didn't. You're the one not so like listening to his house, right? uh -uh. Who are you? And you see, people like this is why we cannot have nice things in our society. <laughs> I love how her husband just comes in, or boyfriend, or whoever the fuck, I, I think it's a husband, comes in and then starts going like, Oh, you talking shit about my wife? Oh, you talking shit about my wife? Acting all fucking tough when her his wife was the one who started all this bullshit. Like, calm the fuck down, man. You got all of this shit, and you got all your protein in your chest, and lack the fucking brain power to know when uh, your wife's being a fucking idiot. <laughs> In sex, we got a Karen who's going off at a bunch of retail workers, and another customer comes in to defend them, and this p customer decides to go off at the other customer as well. I hope you never come back into this restaurant. The generation has no. ruined the planet. Do not come into their restaurant and disrespect them. That's not like you. I'm so I glad. refunded it. You're a goddamn de facto Satan. Yep. You, know you can that? leave. Thank you. Give me my money. I gave you. I made you a refund. Give me the receipt. Here you go. Yeah. Give me the receipt. Is that all you know how to do is to use social media? Yep. Maybe if you actually treated people with Here you are. respect, then you have to do You, you did not treat us with respect. What are you talking about respect? This is the first time I've been here. You did not talk about respect. This is the first time I've been here. You did not talk about respect. Have a good night. Thank you. You don't know what respect is. You don't know what respect is, man. You came in here with disrespect. They're a human being. Ma'am, please. We have shit. to. You have to get out. I'm sorry. I have to call the cops. You need to shut up. You're not involved okay. in this. Okay. She's on our side and she's trying to defend no. us. Sherlock, call, call the cops right now. Man, there's so much I could have to say about this, but to be genuinely honest, I just don't have the brain power and all the willpower to really go through all that shtick today. It's just as simple as, fuck off, you're a piece of garbage, go away, you old hag. <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, I'm sorry. Here we have a customer who was a little upset that a certain item they were trying to order wasn't available at this point in time, so they crack a little bit of a mad fast, and then after start recording and claim that, oh, they did nothing wrong, it was all the drive through worker's fault. I would like to order the teriyaki bowl with a root beer. And you wanted the egg roll for the drink, right? But you said you can't do that, so I will right. have a root beer instead of the drink. Me. It cussed me out, so I cannot I didn't take cuss your you order. Out. Yes, no. you did, ma'am. Have I said, a good one. I didn't cuss you, you out, ma'am. I said, can I please ask who the manager? You what did, did I say? What did I say? Because everything's out. being recorded, and I didn't cuss you out at all. I did not. I like how she said she was recording the entire thing, but then doesn't show us what happened to start all this. It's only starts recording after her, whatever the hell she did. I'm sorry, but going off of how the worker was describing it, how calm the worker really was in this entire thing, it sounds like that when you got told a certain item wasn't available, you kind of cracked the shits a little bit, and well, he is karma. Here we have a customer who didn't quite get everything that they ordered on their receipt, so they are really complaining to the drive through person like, Hey, uh, we didn't get everything we ordered, and the drive through person is just being a bit of an annoyance. I'm not leaving until I get what I ordered. You just gave me yeah, a what you ordered. No, you just gave yeah, me what you ordered. No, you just gave me what you ordered. Yeah, you got what you ordered, dude, so bye. I'm not going anywhere, so you're gonna have to. Well, if you say that, I'm gonna have to find the cop on you. Okay? That's fine. I, I have a receipt for what I paid for. I gave you what you ordered. No, you didn't. Yeah, you yeah. want me to show you, and then you flip me off in the building? Really? How mature are you? I gave you? you what you ordered. I need you to leave, please. I need the food that I ordered. I have a receipt, so if you want. To and I gave you what you ordered the first time. You just weren't happy with it. I'm sorry. 
it was not even a complete anything. I took pictures and everything, so if you want to call the cops, that's fine. pictures of what? The food that we ordered. And I gave you a bacon twist and a bacon ultimate the second time you came through, so I don't know what else you want from me. I asked You're already out of me money, I need you to leave. I asked for please, 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 oh please, 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 You're going to get fired. Please, You're going to get fired. Please, please, I'm going to tell you that right now. Please, please. I'm not getting out of the line please, until please. I get what I want. Okay, I've got to query this. Is there just places in America where you can only use the drive through and there is no way to go inside to talk to someone else? Because in this situation, why are you just holding everyone else up at the drive through Why not just go park up, go inside with your receipt, with your food, and ask for the manager? Because if you go inside, you're most likely not going to immediately deal with the same person as before, and you're far more likely to get your problem solved this way. If not, okay, then I'd be upset, whatever. But sitting in the drive through talking to someone through a speaker is just, it's going to be a waste of time, clearly. Clearly, they don't give enough of a crap to actually help you with your problem, so go inside and be more annoying that way, and maybe you'll get a solution. This current approach the drive through of a family-ran business get, makes this entire order, gets it all made up, and right as they're about to get it, they decide to cancel the order. So obviously, the people who are running this family-ran business aren't exactly too happy with that, considering that she's trying to claim that, oh, I only wanted this and this, but you give me all of these things, I don't want my order now, and then just calls this massive hassle for a period of time for no reason. Please don't come back either, okay? Get by the... Excuse me, sir. Did you know what my side was? My side of the story was for you. Why are you guys? Why are you guys so nasty over here? Why he said, please don't come back over here. You're wasting food. Nobody touched it out here, so you're gonna eat it. Is this home business? Is this a home? A family business, so you're gonna throw that away. No, you're not. You're no, you're, it never touched outside, so why would you throw it away? What I'm, what I'm trying to understand, why are you so upset with me? Go on, move on. We got people that want to buy These are people that are mean. They're mean just because I want it. All I want it. All I wanted was, all I wanted was, I wanted actually was to get an ice cream cone for my children to actually taste, and they don't even allow me to get an ice cream cone. I'm just trying to help out. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All I wanted was an ice cream cone. No. No. Jesus Christ, you're not the only person in the world. So go up front. I'm trying to handle a situation. Ma'am. Bye. I'm you for five minutes. Move on. So you're going to explain to me what happened? I explained to you. You ordered food. I tried to explain to you the best way to order it the next time you came through. You then changed your mind, said you didn't want any food. We now have to throw that food away because nobody here is going to eat it. I can't serve this family out. business, so, yeah, so of course business, somebody's so. gonna eat it, miss. No, ma'am. You're just gonna, gonna throw it away. It. You don't like to throw food. Get the f out of here. <laughs> Go. That's funny as. She got bad as. Over an ice cream cone. I mean, yeah, in theory they could just have it themselves, but at the same time, that's still technically wasted food because it's food that was supposed to be used for an order for customers. Now it's just been created and the customer decided to can it. They can't give that to another customer. That's just not exact. That's not how you do things. Like... I, I, this person's brain's just lacking in the department of actual thoughts because, like... I'm sorry, I'm just having difficulty processing the sheer stupidity and the sheer ignorance that this person has just to be like, well, I'm not causing the problems here, you can just have it. I don't see the issue here. Like, In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's slowly following behind a door marketer after they attempted to knock on their door. What's the problem? So she's mad at me because as I'm walking up to the door, she closes the door. I didn't hear a dog knocking until I knocked on the door. Oh, did she got a no solicitor? Did she got a no trespassing sign? I mean, I see the dog sign. No, does she have a no trespassing sign? 
It just says warning, big ass dog. Oh, that's not no, no trespassing. So, but look, hold on, hold on. I'm walking away. I'm already walking to the next house. She comes she, outside. I say, follow you. I say, ma'am, don't worry about it. It's okay. You have a good one. I already felt some type of way because she slammed the door as I was walking up to the door. I didn't hear no dog until after I knocked. So as I'm walking away, I said, ma'am, don't worry about it. You have a nice day. Yeah, because bitch, da 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 da. Excuse me. Now you can go ahead and ask her. Excuse you know, me. This is it. This is done. And she followed you down the yeah, street? Yeah, she followed me down the street and followed me back this way. I got pictures of her. She's like, yeah, me. bitch, I'm recording you. Da, da, da. You got a minute? And I'm going to record this whole thing. Is there any reason? Is there any reason? No, no. I'm going to wait till the police get here because it doesn't give her a right to follow you down the street. That's That's not right. I said, ma'am, go about your business. I said, never mind, because you closed the door in my face. And I said, it's about the net metering program. Look but that's how rude okay. people is out here. I said, but that's okay. It's about the it's net fair. metering program. That's fine. You close the door in my face. I'm not going to sit here and try to talk to you. Yeah. If you close the door as I'm walking up to your door. Don't worry about that. That's, and then as I'm walking off, she no, decides it's... she wanted to send idle threats and do all of that other stuff. And tell me, you going to follow me? I feel threatened. And I didn't even call the police. Well, call the police. If she called the police, you call too. You have to call too. I got it on camera. Okay. Just call, call too and say this lady follow you down the street and you feel threatened for your life. She doesn't have a no trespass and she doesn't have a no solicitor sign. And I'm like, out here doing my job and let them know that she threatened her, let threaten you with the dog. And your canvas's team is still out here. What, what was the reason why you follow her down the street? Because she came in my yard. Do you have a no trespassing sign? No. But she Do you came have a no soliciting I, sign? I didn't ask her question. But, that, that, but that, you were rude. Right there. That's, that's rude. Why is she it's, not like that. it's not exactly, illegal. It's not illegal. Exactly. I said, I said, did you put, hold on, let me talk. You don't have a no trespassing sign? That doesn't give you a right to follow people down the street. Well, that doesn't they give you a right. Picture. So, she's talking, so she's talking about the Spadio app. I got it on Bro, camera. she's talking about the Spadio she app. Does she doesn't know why you listen. That doesn't give you the right. 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 You're prejudiced. And I say door marketer mainly because to best describe the current situation. She is a person going from door to door to talk about a certain thing. It's what it is. It's door marketing. But th that's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Just like to th the, after someone knocks on your door, you slam the door on them and they choose to walk away after that. You attempt to ask them questions after they've already walked away from you. And then you follow them in your car. Are, what are you? Are you a fucking psychopath or something? Like who the fuck? does that regardless of anything who the hell just follows someone in a car whilst they're going from door to door doing typical marketing shenanigans like what's the point of doing that what are you trying what are you trying to do here like it's a genuine question like what here we have a very interesting clip to say the least as what's apparently happened here is that this guy's kids have been running amok in this hotel and so after they've chosen not to do anything themselves the hotels decide to kick the parents and the family out entirely and here's a recording of the next section why are you being so nasty it ain't why why, why can't we stay here no more well she saw your kids in there what do my kids have anything to do with this your kids were in the laundry room in our refrigerator. Ma'am, my kids was not in y'all laundry room in y'all refrigerator. I'm not going to go through it with you. I've already heard that you've been nasty to my other people. No, no, no. Your, your worker was nasty to my kids. Your worker came out the office, slammed the door in my kid's face for no apparently reason. Why can't we stay here any longer? Why? Because the owner said... You're not staying here. Your kids run around during the days. Yeah, Ma'am, my kids don't never come out the room. Only They're my two- You're not staying. You're not staying. The owner said you're not staying anymore. Ma'am, at first you told my wife that- It's because it's, the kids it, we were in there. Ma'am, my, my kids are 14 and, and 15 I'm years old. I'm not with you. You're not staying, point blank. Don't be back on the property after today. Wow. Just like that, ma'am? Just like that. Just like that. But you told my wife this hotel is not a hotel that extended stay. 
right? No, I did not. Yes, you did. She no, I did not. I told her she may want to go down here. Ma'am, you told no. my wife that this hotel. Don't put words in my mouth. No, I'm not. Because I didn't say that to your wife. Bring her out here. My wife, I don't, I don't, my wife said that you said that we can't stay at this hotel no more because you said that this hotel, we done been here long enough and this is not an extended hotel. We have to go down the road. My wife no, told me that. That is not what I told you. Ma'am, we have it recorded. Whatever. You don't have that recorded from me. Okay. Ma'am, all I'm asking day. you, all I'm asking yeah, you. I'm wow. Ma'am, I'm telling you, I will report you to corporate. I like the entire thing. It's like, well, my kids did nothing. They didn't do anything. They're like 15, 14. They weren't doing anything along these lines. Well, clearly they were to a point of view. And then I also love how he tried to make up a story on how the staff members were rude to his kids who were not out, out there in the hotel, who never leave the room, yet somehow they happen to be in a situation where the staff could be rude to the kids in the first place out in the lobby. It's like, buddy, two parts of your story don't line up. The kids can't be in your room and never leave the room and also be out in the hotel lobby where they have to deal with a worker who was apparently nasty to them. You can't have your cake and eat it too. That's just not how that works. Either take responsibility to your lack of parenting or controlling your kids in this situation and doing something smarter about it and just accept the fact that this is what this situation is now. You are no longer allowed to stay at this hotel. You have to go elsewhere because you've caused too, your kids have caused too much of a ruckus and you chose the brightest way of handling that problem. This next clip is, well, I think the best way to say is a lot. Some context to what happens with this clip here. So basically, these guys had posted marketing material all around the neighborhood, heck, even further down the neighborhood. Basically, it, the sign said, free swim from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. And these kids from this lady goes down to the swimming pool. They're apparently only across the road from the actual pool itself. And the kids got denied for what seems to be a multitude of different reasons. I don't, I don't a hundred percent gather what reason the kids actually use because I think there's two of them that are being lined up here. Either way, here's the clip. Hi. Hi there. Okay. So what's what's going on right here? Uh, it's just a kind of a membership drive type thing that they do every year. Every year. So the free, the free swim signs that's in front of my house, they don't say membership. Or you got to be in. But I am recording because I'm most definitely going to send this in. Because you have four or five little black kids come in here, come in to swim. You tell them, oh, you need a membership. You don't need a membership. It says free, free swim. Bruce. Yes. I think he talked to them. I okay, because I'm most definitely going to send it straight to the news. Uh, mm -hmm. hey, Come on. Fun, Bruce. Yeah. Now, I know there was one group that came up, but the, the issue was they didn't have somebody 21 to sign the waiver. Y'all didn't say the that. Other one, I, don't, I don't know. Hi, Bruce. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Nice okay. I have my kids tried to come and swim because the sign in front of our house that say free swim 12 30 to 2 30 right it don't say nothing about a membership y'all told my kids oh y'all need a membership as soon as they say then y'all told them oh you need to be in the neighborhood yeah. we stay across the street we are the neighborhood oh which what's your address i'm sorry 33 and 15 right on the same block so what it doesn't matter if i'm 30, telling you 33 15 we across the street rocky ridge i'm telling you we across the street so what was the real reason? Was it because it was a bunch of black kids coming here? Because I'm most definitely going to record. I'm recording. No, I, I did. I, oh, I, I took all the pictures. I did because I'm sending it straight to the news. Because I'm trying to figure out the sign in front of my house say so free swim. Well, yes, the signs 3315 Rocky Ridge. This is this is Rocky Ridge. No, hey, my address is 3315 yeah. Rocky Ridge. This is Rocky Ridge right here. I'm mm -hmm. on the same block of this pool. So I'm trying to figure out as to yeah, why. Was it for whites only? I'm, I'm, I'm just asking a question because why is it that you turned a bunch of black kids around? Because, well, first of all, there were no adults. Y'all didn't say that. Uh, no, how much? We can't because they could have just had. No, but I'm saying when they came, y'all should have said, "Oh, you need an adult." You. Like they, they don't have no parents. I had. No. My, I see my kids walking they right here. With parents. 
But why didn't y'all just say? Their dumb rule is that they had to be from the neighborhood, which is a dumb rule. Are they not from the neighborhood across the street? Is not the neighborhood? I'm just asking the question. Tango Wild and Westmont is the the, the people in those neighborhoods put up the money to build too, and so they're they're the people that can come. It's a free show. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. There, there couldn't. There isn't enough room to put all. Oh, isn't enough room for the black kids? No, ma'am. We've or turned, just, or just uh, uh, next year you away. need to you need to specify. Say, like these two, that's what I'm saying. It's a dumb rule to say free swim and to not specify of neighborhoods. I get it. Because this is where we have totally a problem. Rule. I understand I because they're I bad agree. at marketing. I, I totally get it. Yeah. But it's also they didn't have any parents. Like there's people in here. But uh, okay, but but the parent part I don't want to hear because I was right out here. They if if it was really the rule of oh you guys need a parent, my son would have called me just like he called me and said y'all turned them around because he said oh y'all you're their color you can go. In, ma'am, you yeah, can go in. I don't know. Ask them. Oh, my son, so, Poggin. My son, Poggin, goes yeah, so. Uh, I, I, do, I, 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 my finger, I'll try to say, I cannot run, so I cannot. Oh, okay. I'm a lady. Okay, okay. We're, 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 they're off of Metacroft. They're like a few houses from Kevin. Oh, yeah, Maurice is talking about like Okay, so I just wanted to make sure because to be honest, it wasn't a parent issue, it was not. Well, the free swad, the free, the sign that's in front of my house. I, my, this this pool address is 3430 Rocky Ridge. My address is 3315. So there's no way that we are not in their neighborhood. This that free sign go all the way up Tanglewood. There's no way that this is that no. Just say it wasn't for the black kids. Just say that, and I respect y'all way more. But I'm most definitely finna. No, it ain't no literally. literally. It's not true. They, they, that they is true. The arbitrary line, and the arbitrary line is the neighborhood. I understand that you're appreciation for what the neighborhood is is my appreciation for what the neighborhood is which it is a larger part of the community i understand that so we are in the neighborhood though it's we're not in the neighborhood across the street is not the neighborhood across the street from the pool entity and there's like weird so why you have the sign going all the way so you mean to tell me that is the part of the bad implementation because, yeah no okay so okay, okay that's fine no that's fine so we're uh, uh, yes, Definitely. but y'all put them all the way down there by our house. Say pass our house. Free, they did a pass small. our house. The sign's going all the way up Tanglewood towards and McDonald's. And then when y'all pass out the flyers, y'all always put y'all put it on our, our house. Y'all put it mailbox. right in our mailbox. So, so yes, y'all. It, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they, we don't. They don't need to swim. We're right here. There's no. We're right here. Skyline. skyline. We right, right here across here. the street. But, Go down oh, five right houses down. Where the skyline tees into Rocky. Yeah. We literally right oh, here yeah. across the street, five right. houses yeah. down. Oh, but that's I cool. Know. Yes, I've seen. That's cool. I've, Come on. Go. I've seen the kids playing there. I'm that's sure you did, you but can, it's can okay. It, no, it's okay. Yeah, we, yeah, not can, not that can split. It, no, it, and it's fine. It's fine. No. I get it. It's 2022, but, and I most definitely get it, sir. No, I promise I you, you, I do get it. Listen, I, I do. No, I don't. Well, when my kids call me and say, oh, mama, they said we can't swim because we don't have a membership. Then they say, oh, we no, can't swim because, hold on. I know that because the, the I took a picture of the sign, and I most definitely want to post it because it says free swim. It don't say members only Uh, this time from this time, and that's fine. I get it. I raised my kids to know white from from right from wrong, black and white. They know. They already knew what was up. No. Because no, but you, I'm, I, I didn't I say they told you they was in the neighborhood. And, no. and that's. It's a misunderstanding. It ain't no misunderstanding. Because, when I know this one right here that got common sense of a ninety year old. He told you they was in the in the, in, the, in the neighborhood. He's y'all still turned and, them around. What, what, if y'all, and I'm if I'm fine. Be I just here, no no no. Sorry, I'm adult, fine. I I'm just fine. wanted to come address the issue, okay? Right. Because that's not fair. They're they're young. You can have racism towards the parents, and that's fine. We go, we take it all day. But towards some kids, it was totally wrong and out of order. Right. Totally wrong. I'm it's, sorry. And that's fine. Not okay, that's fine. Have a great day. That's one huge kerfuffle. I, I genuinely, I, I'm, I'm trying to just sit here, think about this entire situation, and try and gather what actually happened here. Because I don't like to immediately assume someone's being racist. Like I like to think like there's potentially a misunderstanding here, but I can't exactly see that. Like there's either there's two different answers, maybe even three here to what actually happened here. Either a 
This was genuinely a massive marketing blunder from the HOA of this entire neighborhood that decided to advertise this free swim far out than what it should be. And in reality, the HOA area ends at the street the pool is on. So across the road is not part of the HOA that is invited to the swimming pool thing. And from what I can tell, other people are thinking that the membership is a paid membership thing. I don't think it is. I think this is just like, hey, sign up. Let us know who you are. Yada, 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 yada. And they might ask you for money down the line or something along those lines. As well, it seems like they were being calm and respectful about the situation, but that also could be quite possibly because she had her phone out and was recording the this, this entire time. It may have gone down slightly differently if she wasn't. Maybe there was some potential true racism here, and they didn't let her kids in because they were black, potentially. Or maybe it truly was because there was no adult with them. And maybe if they came back with the adult and were let in, and maybe if maybe she didn't come back nicely and immediately started this entire clip here, and that's how we got here, and they didn't try to get in with her being there and present. I don't know. There's so many different facets to just watching this clip that I'm not 100% sure to what really take from it. I don't know. I'm asking you guys in the comments down below, what do you get from this one? What's your personal opinions of what happened in this situation? Where do you stand? Hey, it looks like that we got a Karen who thinks she's a fashion police against these teenagers. Let's see what happens. Whisper. Next time we'll whisper. Nobody was talking to you. You're just butting in on our conversation like that. It's not a conversation. You literally um, yes, are it is. You, everybody you. around you. Everybody? Everybody's who? standing here. Who? Is everyone as weird enough to, as you? You're did? literally the Stacey, one who butted you know, in. Don't want men talk to me. look at you. Don't dress like a... Or did you really you just say that right, right now? You're literally calling her a s because she's because wearing, a wearing a crop top. top. I see you're recording it fine. Go put so you're saying my basically what she dropped. Stop. Okay. That is not what I'm I said and do not well trust my words. What is going on? Are we really in a fight with a grown like 30 year old woman? This girl talking about me that I'm, I'm a s because I'm wearing a crop top? It's 2020 and I'm being called this because this girl and some I said you boy like she looks like, she looks like a zookeeper. A zookeeper is telling me that I look like a <laughs> That's <laughs> That zookeeper comment really caught me off guard. <laughs> if I was like taking a drink whilst I was watching that clip, I probably would have spat it everywhere because that it just caught me way off guard. And also, well, she's wearing a crop top. She's got jeans that are slightly ripped. Well, actually, not slightly. Very heavily ripped. But like, this even isn't. It's not even that bad, man. It's not that skimpy. Oh no, she's got like. Her crop top seems to cover up more of her cleavage than the person next to her, which is just wearing a singlet that shows off her cleavage like 10 times more. But she's more concerned about the person wearing a crop top than the friend right next to there that's showing off of way more. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the, the the double standards here is absolutely amazing just because it's like oh you can see my stomach and belly button but hey it's actually covering my top in a little better than my friend over here but no no you're gonna care more about my crop top than my friend's singlet over there yeah sure <laughs> i love people who try to be fashion police and say oh you can't be wearing clothes like that it makes you look like a whore it that's just not right, man. Let people wear what they want as long as it's actually appropriate. <laughs> as long as it's not them being butt naked in public. <laughs> Apparently this worker decided to quote unquote say if I wasn't in my work uniform I'd bash you type deal. And the guy decided to start recording and try and probe the guy to say it again. Here's what happens next. Did you do something or what? You didn't have the apron on, would you do something? Me? You, huh? you just said if I, did, if I didn't have this apron on, what would you do? That's not what I said. Huh? No, you're lying. Dude, back up. You just said if I didn't have this apron on, Dude. I'd kick your ass. That's what I said. Yeah. Whatever you want. What did, what, what'd you say then? Huh? You need to stop, dude. What did you say? You need to chill. You need to back up. You're the one that threatened me. You need to go. For what? You threatened me. 
Dude, I got this guy he's trying to fight me. Can't I ain't trying to fight you. Dude, someone needs to be over to fight ASAP. Alright, That's bull. That was complete shit. You just said I'm trying to fight you? Dude, you need to chill, bro. Like, I ain't I doing what nothing. What am I doing? I ain't doing nothing. You just said I tried to fight you. You just lied to your supervisor and said I tried to fight you. Coming behind the counter? I didn't try to fight you. Help First of all, this dude's lying. He no just idea. told you I'm trying to fight him. I ain't trying to fight him. He's the one that threatened me. He goes, if I didn't have this apron on, boy, I'd... You know what I mean? All I'm trying to do is return this because the string broke. He had, he's smirking at me, laughing at me, like I don't have right to return it. it the string busted off of it. How am I going to use it? I was here 20 minutes ago. Okay. And, and then he goes, if I didn't have this apron on, and then he calls and tells you I'm trying to fight him? I don't appreciate that, man. I'll look into that. I'm going to put that away from you, please? No. I just want, you could return this, put it back on my card. That's simply, that's all I tried to ask him to do. And he wants to smirk at me, laugh at me, and grin at me like it's some kind of game. This dude tried to escalate this and say, if I didn't have this apron on, boy, I'd kick your ass. I did not say that. What'd you say then? What did you say? I'm sorry buddy, but you behind the camera there, you're only ever gonna really look like the instigator of this instance because yes, he may have actually said that prior to recording, but you turning on the camera to now start recording and then continuously probe him to try and get him to repeat those words or try and get him to confirm that he said that is just silly. It's never gonna work and it's only come off gonna come off of making you look slightly bad, especially when the guy gets his manager involved because now it's a case of do you believe your worker or do you believe the a customer who's currently just going off his nutter recording everyone for some weird reason like what do I what would you be more willing to believe would you believe the worker who seems cool calm and collected or the customer who's got their phone as recording currently and is going off his nutter if you were just more calm and stable it's like okay bring your manager out here and then you tell the manager what happens in an actual calm state then he may have actually believed you to a degree otherwise this is just stupid you're just now trying to antagonize him to get him to repeat those words on camera so you can use it against him it really is that simple yeah they were here right now No one is. I'm not intimidated by you. Okay. Do you hear me? I am not intimidated by you. You okay. do not intimidate me. You're in front of my house. I have. No, I'm in the middle of the street. Mind your own I business and move. Came onto my property. No one did. Yes, you did. Okay. I have pictures on my cameras. Okay. Don't do it again. Okay. You passed by right in front earlier taking videos of me. No, I saw I you. I saw you. I saw you. I, I saw you. I have cameras in my car. No, I saw you. I don't have video of you. Lady, please. I Your don't. phone is bright red. I can see you. Come on. No, I and I honked at you. And then you just left. Now you're back here. I saw you. Why are you lying? I have cameras in my car. Do you really want to lie? I'm not lying. Okay. I don't have video of you. Do you hear me? I don't have video of you. Okay. Sounds good. I saw you earlier you taking video. On no I one's no 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 one's walking in your property. Yes, you did. Okay, sounds good. So leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me yeah. alone. We'll leave you alone when you leave us alone. I'm not the one doing this kind of stuff in a nice neighborhood. Nice. This is leave the hood. This is the hood. Leave me this alone. is the hood. Go move to a private community. This is the this is the hood. You are. I I live in a private. Me. I live in a private community. I know what. I, I don't, <laughs> I, I have two houses, lady. You have two houses? Tell me more. Tell me more? You don't live here and this is a, a what? A what? What did you say? This is a what? What did you say? What? What is it? What did you what say? What is it? This is the hood. You said you don't live This here. is the hood, lady. Come on. This is the street. Come on. Move forward. Move on. Come on. Come on, you Karen. Come on. 
This guy tried to park in the bike lane, and when he got caught out by another bike rider, he decides to lose his nuts immediately at him. What's that? Next time, you just pull up to the window and say something. Don't knock on my Why are you endangering Don't people's lives with your This machine Don't kills 40,000 people. Why is misogyny called for in this situation? Let me tell you something. Before you start somebody, you better ask yourself what the f they're going through. So Where what about you with bicycle traffic? This is a piece of infrastructure designed to save the look, lives of human look, beings. Bitch, when you look, block bitch, it, look. I'm getting ready to move my car, so you better leave me the f alone. I really appreciate you not breaking the law. That's a basic expectation I'm of living my in a f car. Good. So leave me the f alone. Get on it. Let's go. Are you experiencing some toxic masculinity right now, sir? No, no. Your dog's very cute, sir. Boy, oh boy, some people are very goddamn interesting. <laughs> Just like how he's going out, it's like, oh, I've got to be angry man to go off at you. It's like, you don't know what I'm going through. I get to park wherever the hell I want because I'm not having a good day. It's like, that's how the world works. If the world worked like that, good luck having anyone follow laws. How about you think logically about what you just said and maybe just move on instead of continuously yelling and screaming at the other guy. In this next clip, we seem to be at the back end of an argument that has previously started. I'm not gonna pay. We're not gonna pay for your fucking wokeness. I don't care. Fuck Call you, the cops. Man. Call the cops. Have them handle it, okay? That's fine. All right, that's fine. All right, well, we're, we're just... We're just trying to get a ride home, all right? You don't have to threaten us. You don't have to yell at us, all right? We're not trying to do anything, anything, okay? Okay? Switch off the video before I take your phone, okay? Yo, all right? We're not trying to do anything, all right? Please, no, please, sir. Wait, did that guy just kick the guy off the camera or something? What an abrupt way to end a clip. Here we've got a Karen trying to cut in line at Target, and when she gets called out for it, she uh, has a very interesting reaction to it. This so Karen tried to cut my client in me. line you at Target. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I want and the back up. right here now. And back up. And this is all on video. I didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. Because you thought you were going to get in front of me. Exactly. Just get your shit and get out of here. Who are you talking to? You. You're not talking to me. <laughs> I am trying to make a return here. Like, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So why you think you're so entitled? You thought you were going to come and stand in front of me? And then I correct you about what you did. You thought you were going to come and get in my face. We're not doing that today. Face. You did get in my face. You and know. I got it on video. Stop playing Whatever. with me. Stop playing with me. Okay. I was here first. I came the correct way, like Whatever. all customers should. Just get done. She jumped. I'm not talking to you. She jumped in front of me. And this young lady knows she came from this way. And then she said, well, I have a return. Ma'am, I'm already standing right here. Just get it over with. Right. Wait, you made a big deal about it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You did. Now stop playing with me. For real. I can take over here. Last warning, lady. Really good. Last warning. Refund $31.59. Okay. Do you, you need my card? card? Do you want it back on your debit card? You can give it to me in cash. Cash? Yeah. yeah. We're done. Can you reset that one? Now this is proper customer service. These guys decide to not get involved in the fight. This guy's like, okay, cool. Do you want to come over to this way and I'll serve you over here? A fair bit away from this other person and just successfully just diffuses the entire issue here. They understand, yep, this person clearly did something wrong. The easiest way to deal with this is just to serve her a little bit down that way, and we'll all be good. Everyone gets their stuff done quicker, and there's no more concern. I gotta love that sometimes. <laughs> We have the group that is going into a hairdresser to get a haircut, and it turns out this person is, is, isn't is exactly a fan of the people who may or may not have come from across a southern border in a certain country. I mean, why am I referencing that way? So here comes this beautiful clip. Across the border. I'll have to agree. You 
know? People coming across the border, I don't know where you're from. I don't know where you come from. I am Honduras. I know, but how do I know you didn't just come across the border? The southern border. I'm, I'm not, I know cut migrants. No, I'm not going to call, no migrants. Okay? Okay? You have to understand. Okay? Okay? All right. No. No corte, no. No inmigrantes. No inmigrantes. What? No inmigrantes. Oh, how that jelly Did you come across the border? The southern border? Ah. From Honduras? Honduras. Recently? Recently? No, but me, me come here when me have a fourth year visa. Yes. Yes. visa? Yes. I have license. You have citizen? Yes. Do you show me? I have in my car. Pero que por qué la enseña si ella no es de migración? Pero no, no te la puede pedir porque ella no es de migración, no es, no es, una, no es una autoridad. Okay. You know, up to a certain point, you had some form of plausible deniability of this entire event. But then the moment you said, I don't cut migrants' hair, is the moment where you just had full blown racism inside, inside, like, just in general, full blown racism. Heck, if these people were willing to bring it up to uh, some form of police force or some form of court of law, I'm 90% sure you can actually get in a fair bit of trouble because you are. You're, re you're not refusing to serve someone in explicit reason because of their race. And you have no way to deny that fact now because you explicitly said in this recording that you don't cut migrants' hair. Like, at least up until you said that, you had some form of plausible deniability that a majority of places will have in instances like this. Especially with a majority of other clips we've watched over the past way too long. A lot of them have some, a lot of those businesses have some form of plausible deniability about what happened. You don't, because you were recorded on film directly saying you won't serve them because they're migrants. And there's no other reason for it. Smart 101. So these guys have got a large vehicle and they've also got a trailer attached to it. So of course, because you can't fit a car and a trailer in a normal car parking lot, they've gone across in a weird way, taking up multiple car parking spaces because it's just what they've had to do. Anyway, this Karen's come out of the fuel station to go off at them for doing so. Good. Good, you're on TikTok. No. We have a Karen. Uh oh, she's getting a plate number now. Hang on. Okay. We got yours too. We got yours too. You realize when you have a trailer, you're allowed to take up more than one space, right? That is not legally parked. You're right, it's not illegal parked. Um, but another thing, you realize that having your headlights on is also not against the law. Okay. To turn it off and be considerate, you, you want to be a jackass and turn your brights on in my car. First of all, I'm not driving, so you don't have to be rude with me. You want to hit me? Go ahead. Sway at me. Ha have a good day, man. I mean... There is really nothing wrong with what they were doing. Yes, they, yes, it's annoying to have see a vehicle take up multiple car parking spaces, especially considering they've got a trailer. It is annoying to see multiple car park spaces being taken, but A, this is at night time, so fuel station may not be as busy as usual at this point in time. And also, uh, where else do you think they're going to park? They're, they're going to park up blocking the road? They're going to park up into a single car park, you know, the trailer stick out on the road? Like, what else do you think they're going to park? Like, they have to park in multiple for car parks anyway regardless of where they go because the vehicle's now too long to fit in a regular car park because you know it's got a trailer attached to it oh my god who would have known who would have thought of these type of things good god
Here we have a very interesting situation where an ex or an old friend or something on those lines has been caught with doing some pretty creepy, stalkyish behavior. And here's the interesting, here's a clip to it. Damn it, Cassie, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I don't I don't have much to say to this one. This just seems like, yeah, it's screw, it's messed up. That's as bad as far as I've really got to say for this because, I mean, I can't really make too much of a joke about this aside from the damn it, Cassie, because that just is such a funny sounding set of words out of this entire situation. I don't know. Just What are your thoughts, eh? This clip is um, a lot. If I'm completely honest, the quality of the actual video itself is hot garbage, but that's because this has now been deleted. So, uh, yeah, that's a fun problem. Uh, I'm just going to say this couple's at a vet. Their dog's in surgery. Things happen. I'll talk about it more after the clip. Wake it up like it's my job. Do your job. Finish your job. Then you do not yell at my manager. Do you understand? Do you understand? What is your name? 
Dr. Dean. Okay, thank you, Dr. Dean. Can you finish sewing up I my dog do before it dies, dies on your table? It's not going to die on the table. Okay, and if anything you happens, I will make sure. Here. Because you guys Show are yelling. Show me the blood because and I'm said, do you want me to finish because working on your dog or not? Staff. That is what you just you came out here and said. You are yelling at my Believe staff. Believe this. This is incredible. Absolutely You are incredible. yelling at my staff. Mom, I'm calling 911. Yeah. Have them. I see all the time. Mom, I'm calling I'm sorry, but what the f is this? <laughs> like, I'm just trying to just process what I just witnessed. So, so what can what can be gathered is that I okay. What can be assumed from this story so far, from what we can gather from the clip itself, is that quite possibly they couldn't. The parents here, the owners of this dog, couldn't afford to pay for the surgery initially, but the vet decided to uh, start the surgery, hoping that hey, they might find a way to financially pay, and we're just going to be nice because this dog is clearly in a state where they need the surgery. And about halfway through the couple managed to finagle some form of money from somewhere so they go and actually pay for it uh, there potentially is some form of financial runaround with the staff member out there at some point it leads to the couple yelling and screaming at the worker who is processing the payment which then potentially interrupts the work of the vet who's currently operating surgery on their dog. So she comes out to see what in the world was happening, and then this argument ensues. Look, I'm going to be completely honest here. Part of me is just like, I get it. This, argue, this loud screaming and yelling from this couple is clear, It's probably interrupting the surgery to a degree if you heard it from inside the surgery room. But at the same time, maybe at least finish the operation, then go find out what in the world is happening. Like, maybe poke your head out, see what's happening, and then go back to finish the surgery or do, do something. Like, I, I, I don't... Like, I get it. The dog's stable, but I think... I feel a bit uncomfortable with the knowledge that the dog is sitting there open on the operating table. Yeah, the dog's stable. He's probably going to be fine. Nothing's probably going to happen. But there's just some level of uncomfortability of a dog being open on the operating table just in general is probably not the brightest move. I don't know. It. This is just chaos. This is chaos in a nutshell. It's oh, a lot. What do you guys think? Comments down below. Next, we have a fun clip where there seems to be some road rage going on. Me though, it's not about did you hit me though. It's not about did you. No, I'm not having a bad day, sweetheart. It's about the fact that you came on my side, boo, and then you had the nerve to push your head that way. Okay, baby, learn how to drive, boo. If the, if you was on a driver's air test, you would be you would be done. If you was on a driver's air test, baby, you would be done, boo. You would be done, boo. They would have failed you. They would have failed you. Okay, yeah, on the driver's air test, they don't tell you to do that when you're in. I'm not mad, baby. I'm not mad. I love you. I love you. I, I, I love it. I love it. Have a good one. Learn to drive that big ass truck, though. When all's well, it ends well, right? <laughs> Love how that ended. Just the casual. It's just like, no, I'm not mad. I love you. And then suddenly she re reciprocates the entire feeling of that situation, which is just like, huh, that's cool. Great way to end this one. As well as a sly comment about you better learn how to drive that big truck. <laughs> oh, great. Here we have a person who's renting a hotel for potentially a night or two, but who knows, it doesn't matter. And one of those nights when she's laying in bed, the bathroom starts to flood and have a bunch of issues. Here's what happens next. I was laying in bed with my children. Have I given you permission to, to record me? No. Have I give you permission? I'll just record your mom. I was laying in bed with my children, and your bathroom started flooding. So your response is... You're, you rented the room. It's your bathroom now. No, it's not. You're I don't... You're responsible for that room. No, right? I'm not. Right. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You stop being an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. And, and, and start thinking with your mind, okay? Stop being a Democrat, a dumb Democrat. Oh, okay. And go to your room, pack your stuff, and leave. <laughs> Do you own this hotel? Yeah, it's family owned. Get your stuff and get out. I will not pay for a oh, set. Oh, you, okay, you're all set, then leave. If you think I'm not going to charge you, then leave. I'm charging you. For what? 
for rent and for damages, any damages. I asked you to shut the water, you refused. I didn't refuse. I said, how do I do that? I, I actually in told you that. The bathroom is you flooded. Idiot. I also told you that, you idiot. Didn't I tell you that? Damages are not going to pay for it. I haven't caused Stupid con answer. You're an idiot. When you get the replace report, you'll, you'll come to your senses. Have you always been like this? <laughs> Leave. It's better for you, dumbass. Leave. Can someone in, in America just enlighten me? Uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure that's not how renting stuff works. Usually if something goes majorly wrong in, like, here in Australia, if something breaks inside of a rental property, usually you let the real estate know and they let the owner know and they organize getting that issue fixed because, you know, you can't trust the renters to fix these issues themselves in a lot of cases. It's just better if the owners and the real estate organize and do that themselves. Yada, yada, yada. Is, is it like, what's it like in America for rent where, for any form of rentals having issues like that? Because I feel like that this is not how this would be approached in any way, shape, or form. Especially in a hotel. Usually, like, if there's a major issue like that, it's like, okay, sure, uh, we'll check in on that. Meanwhile, we either, if it's a major issue, you'll just be moved to a different room. If it's not a major issue, we'll just fix it while you're not here and it'll be all be dandy. I don't know, this guy's a bit wild. <laughs> And Sex Slipper Karen is refusing to check in her bag because they've run out of room for bigger suitcases. So instead of actually doing that, absolutely loses it when does something stupid. <laughs> oh god, it's funny seeing someone do something so stupid. Like, it's just like one of those things. Oh no, you have to check your bag in so it gets placed elsewhere. Oh no, end of world. Woo. Let's cause a fight in front of a plane over this. That's totally gonna go my way. It's like, I understand, it's frustrating. You might have something in that bag that you might want on the actual flight itself. You might be taking a long flight and that's why you've got that much shit to go on a carry-on. But doing this doesn't help that problem. It probably makes your problems worse, ain't gonna lie here. Also, side note, don't you love the amount of watermarks that are on some of these clips? Just the amount of, like, all the people who've reposted these clips before I've come across them, they've put their own special watermark on there, and she's like, why? You don't own these clips. I don't own these clips either. I just own the whole totality of this video because I put the effort in to transform it. But anyway, moving along. Now this next Karen drastically stuffed up her parking, couldn't park within the lines, but instead of accepting that she did that wrong, she decided to redirect the blame on the jeep that's parked perfectly normal right next to her. Come on, my daughter has to get in! We I, won't move his car! I, my daughter has to get in! Move it! You parked it too fucking close! You, you... Yeah, you, 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 you heard you, me! Do you, when you open that door, you she do this a lot? Car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. That car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? You Let's get serious. Let's get serious. You see the line that you separates these? Tire. Now come over here. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. Look, your tire is right on that white line. You need to stay within the lines. So do you. So do you. But look. Look, I'm perfectly between the lines. Look. Oh. I'm actually hugging this side a little too much. Yeah. I love how she's taking photos of this because I'm assuming she's going to take it to the police and accidentally dob herself in because she's parked worse than he did. My goodness me. <laughs> Here we watch as a person who's wearing a nice bright fluoro vest that has a insignia of police on one side of it gets approached by these guys behind the camera here and gets asked a very simple question. Are you an actual police officer? Unfortunately, this guy seems to squirm and is not really interested in properly answering that question. Goes on with a few lies and well, here's a clip. Hi there. Hey. All right. So 
You're an actual Cleveland police officer? No, no, I'm not with Cleveland PD. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers to do traffic control. For, uh, are you an off-duty police officer? Yeah. Yeah. So who are you with? Uh, Pickway Sheriff's Office. Pickway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. So you're you're out of. They do. Ohio. Ohio, and you're here working in Franklin County in Whitehall as an off-duty police officer. No, I'm working as a security guard. So we do. No, you're in uniform marked as a police officer. You're working as a police officer right now with a car that has red and blue lights on it. Yeah. All so right. I've got, I've got some paperwork I can give to you from. Absolutely, that, and I'll need to get your information. I've been asked yeah. to come up here by my deputy chief and get that. Okay. Because yeah. Here you you. Richland Township, which is Glenmont. Um, it's Richland Township. Yeah. So it's it's a township police department no, or it's a, it's village, a village. Village in Richland Township. Yeah. Okay. It's a village in Richland. But you have no but you have no ID from them. No, all right. No, 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 and no. have you ever been sworn in by them? I've talked to the chief. No, no. So I'm asking you a direct no. question. Have Did, you been sworn in now, by this them? It's very important you answer this correctly because being a former police officer or someday a current police officer, you know if you lie in this situation, you go directly to jail. No, I'm not. So I'm going to put not, that right listen, out. Listen, I'm not. So trying, if I'm you not, are telling me you are a police officer right now, is I, that what you're telling no. me? So no. you are not a commissioned police officer. I have spoke with the chief. That's not what I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you one question. Are you a commissioned police officer through the state of Ohio? I have an OPUTA certificate. That's not what That's I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking I'm, you. I'm explaining to you. I have no, 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 you're not. You're not answering the question. You're avoiding the question. It's very simple. Are you a sworn police officer anywhere in the state that of Ohio with any department? Not currently. Okay. That's not the question. That, well, well, I'm, oh, not I'm, currently. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. You can't be unsure. You can't be unsure. You would have to raise your hand, swear, okay. sign a form, and you would get I've talked to paperwork the on that. Okay. Hello. Talking to the chief is not enough. Um, Please do not. I'm, I'm asking you for courtesy, man to man. Please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please, please. I, I okay. think I think you did that kind of on your own, Casey. Please. All right. Um, the Pickway County. You knew you didn't work for Pickway County. You displayed that badge, all right? You're out here acting in a law enforcement capacity, displaying a badge that you have no right to have, or a facsimile of a badge. That's not even a real badge. No. You were aware of that, yeah, okay? It's, it's not real. Okay, so, all right, you're gonna be charged. Oh, seriously? I'm serious, okay? Now, we're gonna be nice about this, okay? And we're gonna take you over, and you can take your gun belt off, and you can set it on the hood of that car, okay? okay? Um, and we're going to take you in. We will not. We don't have to handcuff you. This officer is going to pat you down. All right, and we'll let you out. All right, on a summons. All right. Now. Are we too far for me to? We, we, yeah. We're, we're, yeah. Yeah. Where? Listen. Okay. Completely deceptive. Here's the problem. Here, here's. You don't understand that right now we can charge you for improperly handling in a vehicle. I can charge you for impersonating a police officer. All right. I, there's tons of charge. What are you charging? Me? Here. Well. Probably the impersonation of a police officer. So, so the best right. thing to do that, right now sir. is to just take off the belt. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to, All right, so let's step I'm over here and take care of that Horace first. Smith right here. I think buddy old pal here was wearing his dunce cap for today, you know, having his car, which looks to be an ex-police vehicle with the co the colored panels being with no detail on it from what we can see from a section of the clip there where there is a white and black vehicle with police siren lights on top of it. And this guy just walk around with a full on gun belt and the police insignia and then lies about which department he comes from. And it turns out that he probably hasn't, he has he's not a police officer at all. He's just working as security guard and thought it would look be cool to wear police signet. I don't I don't know what this guy was to, like I'm personally assuming that him being a security guard is actually real here. It might also be a lie and that could also be a problem because he is like a bit more like, hey, please don't ruin my career. Do, do, don't do this to me. Please, please be nice to you guys. But it's just like, buddy, you brought this upon yourself by wearing something that says police on it and then lying to police about saying that you are a police officer and then you got found caught out in your lie because of course you did. What else was going to happen here? 
Like, if you're not aware of certain things, they're going to be able to trip you on those certain things. And, well, what did they do there? Oh, they tripped you on those certain things, and you got caught out pretty easily. Here we have a Kevin who thought it would be the brightest idea to park in the bank's parking lot and then not go to the bank, but instead go elsewhere instead. So, surprise, surprise, when he comes back to his car, it's being towed away. And instead of paying the $50 fee to just have his car dropped then and there so he can go on his way, he decides to negotiate to go for free. Doesn't work, though. You don't have to go that get route, man. Get the out of here, I'm saying, get the f*** it. Okay. Get the f*** Okay. Get the f*** it. It's gone. It's gone. You think it's not what the f*** I'm fucking with? I don't know who I'm with. I never met you in my life. Put the car down and get the f*** me and I'll drop it. How's that? Who the f***? I don't even know who the f*** you are. I don't even know who the f*** you are, and you want me to pay you? I'm Kid. the tow man. Well, I don't know you. Why would I want to pay you? Because I got your car on my truck. Okay, well, good for you. Now you, 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 you go away. Go ahead, take me home with it. I don't go need ahead, to take, take you. Go ahead, take me away with it. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't go need ahead. to. Pay <laughs> the damage, dude. I You're know. making me laugh, dude. Really. Oh, You're making a fool you. out of yourself. It's very simple, man. Give me 50 bucks. I drop the car. You're on your way. Why would you give me 50 bucks? To drop your car. Why? You do it for free. Regardless. I do it for free? Go ahead, give me your ride for me. Okay. Get ready. It's gonna be fun. Do what? All right. Um, Why am I taking it? Yeah. Bank parking only. All right. Can we go get a change? Yeah, go ahead. You come with me. I'm not gonna go nowhere. No, I don't know that. I'm telling you, I'm not going to go. I don't trust you, bro. How can I trust you, bro? Listen, you I'm not going to go nowhere. All right, how about this? I need a third 20. No, 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 no. It's $50. It's supposed to be 100 But I'll do it for 50 I'm sorry, but if you park in a place that's clearly stipulated to be only for the bank or only for the building that it's meant, the car parks are meant for, and you don't go into that building when you park there, uh, be willing to accept that you might see your car get towed away. And I understand that the off the rate of this actually happening when you park in places where you shouldn't be is very low in a lot of a lot of the time. But just because you don't get caught for it all the time doesn't mean you have you you won't get pulled up for it eventually. It, so it's just like the saying goes, just because you've been fine going 55 miles in a 50 zone for years doesn't mean you won't get caught and get a fine for speeding. Like it, it's still breaking the rules of that place. It is what it is. You're lucky that you got there when you were still getting ready to tow your car so you were able to pay the money and get your car back. Imagine if you took any longer, you'd have no car. What then? Here we have a racist Karen that's upset that some Mexicans that are inside of America are using fireworks on the 4th of July. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Karen in Romoville, Illinois. Car pulls up to us while we are enjoying the fireworks on 4th of July. There was about 40 people outside, including neighbors watching, as she begins to rant. Did you get to see your husband blown up by an IUD? You don't discuss the fucking people, asshole? You don't need a curse. You don't need a curse. You don't need a curse. Okay, I watched my husband blow up from an IUD. Do you want this? We don't care! Police show up after 15 to 20 minutes of her awkwardly sitting in her car. Our PD handles the situation well and get her to leave. Alright, All right, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Shout out to RPD. Shout out to RPD. We got 70 people right now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for serving. Oh yeah, my husband died to an explosive. Do you know how this makes me feel? I'm having like PTSD from this. Okay, even if that is a reasonable thing to do, it's 4th of July. I'm 90% sure that this isn't the only group doing fireworks on that day. Heck, there are probably multiple people in your local neighborhood do who are doing fireworks right now and you've chosen to go to these people in particular? Why is that? Oh, it's because you're racist. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Who wouldn't be too surprised about that? Racist people in America? Whoa, boy. Who would have known? <laughs> in this next clip, we got a Karen having a bad day at Walmart.
Who do I complain about for her? Give me the number. It's your store number. On the top of the receipt. Okay, can you finish with the Sarah is a most like a moon manager here. Yeah. She said she would do my whole project. Yeah. Yeah. No, Sarah wants to talk to her. Yeah. 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 You want a manager to talk to me? You bring your manager here. You get up. If you want to talk to me, you bring your manager here, you idiot. Or go f me with your other stuff. Talk to me somewhere else. Get him somewhere else. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Did we start fights with all your public people? Then get him in the back. That is rude. I would hope all the time. Shut up and get out of here, you idiot. You're okay. That's rude. You know about what? You know about what? But as soon as having two by looking at your speech and different talking to me in front of your staff. That's pathetic. Get him out of here. It's rude. I'm so sorry, Shut up! Okay. Shut up! I'm sorry, Karen. I, I I know you can't understand these type of things because I, I know you guys can't understand how to take responsibility for your own actions. But unfortunately, I feel like in this situation, you're the one who's been a bit of a horrible person, who's been a bit of an asshole, especially snapping like that at these employees who get paid minimum wage to deal with your fucking crap. <laughs> I'm sorry though, because unfortunately I understand that you guys have no idea how to take responsibility for your own actions. And that's an unfortunate thing, because your child's now going to have to suffer with those consequences too. Because he just sees all this go down, and I'm going to assume this happens more often than it doesn't. The guy who's parked in, in the middle of the parking lot, not in an actual car park, and is pretty much in the way of a bunch of handicapped spots, and when he gets confronted about that and asked to move by someone who works there, he uh has a bit of a tissy fit. So you're illegally parked. Um, I've got a complaint already about the vehicle no, being blocked. Complaint. You're the complaint. If you you're are the going complaint. to remain parked here, I will have you're to the call, call a tow truck. Call, 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 so what time do you, right you plan? Well, for you're 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 with, you can spot a hole, but you're going to jail for what you're doing up front. Oh. You got the corporate okay. charge being called, but you're being investigated too. Okay. That's something you don't know, Sounds big good. gal. I'm okay. a big boy, but I'm happy. Okay. I can give anybody that ever walk a stranger walks a Are you going to move your vehicle for my guests? Are you going to move my vehicle for the guests? You're going to move the vehicle for the guests? Have a great day. Safe travels. Don't get in the wreck on the way there with all your anger you got. Have a good day. Safe travels. Of course, it had to be one of those entitled assholes in their big fuck off trucks. I've had a rant about this in the past. I don't understand the people who own a vehicle of this caliber that actually need a vehicle of this caliber, but the reality is most people who own one of these vehicles own it just because they can. Like, most of them will only ever make use of the things that this car is able to do or once in a blue moon. And even then, like, these vehicles have been continuously made to be more big, more stupid and over the top than what they used to be. Like, they don't need to be the absolute size they are to be able to do the towing that a lot of them are used for. Uh, anyway, we're not going on that pathway today. Because you've got the people who own vehicles like this who are like this. Because it's either the people who make use of these vehicles, the middle ground of the people who are just brought into the hype of the car manufacturers selling them these overpriced pieces of garbage, and then you've got the assholes who get a big vehicle because they feel like it's uh, showing off, whether it because it makes them think they have a big dick or something along those lines, or whatever the hell it is for, whatever stupid thing they try to push here, they're of course going to be absolute in assholes. You know, they can't find a car park, rather than, you know, getting a double car park or just parking in a further away and taking multiple car parks so it's not too annoying, they park as close as they want to, and they park in the middle of the street. They're not parking in an actual car park spot and make everyone else's life harder because, you know, they're entitled to park wherever the hell they want because they got the giant golf truck. <laughs> 
I still ranted a bit somewhat about a trough, didn't I? Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's for another day. Here we have a lady going to a salon and is querying questions with the one lady there, asking like, Hey, uh, how can I dye my hair? Yada, yada, yada. Can you do it for me? And well, the lady denies her saying, Hey, I would rather not dye people's hairs with bleach when I'm the only person here. And this is what happens next. Talks like that to me. What do you mean? What you were saying. No one asked me these questions like that. Ma'am, I was like, asking which one of these would be beneficial for my hair because my hair is brassy well, and blonde and... But they're Meaning both a little good help. for your hair. Okay. I don't know what you... Then you want to tell me something else. Then I wanted to ask you, can you help me dye my hair? Because you work at a salon and you told me, oh no, How I can't How am I going to dye that. your hair by myself? when there's people coming in here and you got bleach on your hair with your hair I already had an accident with someone's hair like that that's why I refuse to do it oh you're saying that you just don't feel comfortable not that you're refusing me I work by myself honey do you get it would you like bleach on your hair and me leaving you to help someone find something with bleach on your hair I already ruined someone's hair because of it it didn't turn out the way they wanted to their color didn't last and I can't do that again Okay, that's fine. Can you tell me how much this product will be, both of them together? Twenty-five dollars plus tax. Can you tell me what the total will be, please? Do you want? Are you gonna buy it? Yeah. Okay. I think they're both the same. Yep. It'll be twenty-five because you get one of them free, by the way. If you didn't know. That. Well, that's what I asked you. Yeah, you just didn't know the price. I said twenty-five dollars, but you—I thought you wanted one of them. Well, they're buy one, get one free, right? Buy so if I buy one... I don't know if you're even buying them. I should... Ma'am, are you okay? People ask questions. They don't always buy stuff. Are you okay? Yeah, I, 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 I asked you. I understand people leave stuff sick because they don't want it. They just ask questions. But I wanted to ask questions and then I wanted to purchase it. I don't and know I also anybody. Ma'am, I also wanted to get a color service. But you told me, what, you can't do it? Do you want me to do your hair? I'd, I'd be glad to do your hair if I'd, you want to get it done and be jeopardized wanted, by people interrupting. I wanted to get my hair done. Today. This is a salon. Today? I'm not at a Are you saying today? Store. Are you saying today? I said Are today. You saying today? And after, I don't have time. And then I said, what about tomorrow? I'm is not going to be here. I said, will anybody be I here tomorrow? So. I hope so. I'm hoping so. It's not me, though. I don't work tomorrow. And the person that's working for me is supposed to be here tomorrow. Are you the manager? Yeah. Do you have corporate's phone number? It's I'm in the phone book. I don't call. It's one eight eight eight. No, that's on. I don't even know. It's under Regis Corporation. You want to look it up? Or I can look it up. Well, I asked you a minute ago where what salon is this, and you said I don't know. I didn't. Hear you said I don't that. even know where I am. You said that to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you want to buy this? You're really confusing me because I never would talk like that. Yes, I would like to buy that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I mean, I got Ma'am, I'm ready. I've been waiting to check out. I'm asking about hair services. Are you ready? Are you just buying this? Do you want this on? Are you able to do hair services? tomorrow, the next day, any yeah. day after that? Day. Bleach? Do you do bleach? If you want to wait while people are interrupting, you can get your hair bleached all you want. Oh, you will do that then? No, it might not turn out, just to let you know, because I got an answer the door and the phone, and I'd rather not. I don't like to work like that. I have more fun myself. Ma'am, I did want it, but you're you're acting. I cannot do hair color or bleach when I'm by myself. You you won't listen to me. Ma'am, I only asked you if you were able to. I at this to point, tell you ten times. at this point, I wouldn't ever let you touch I my know. hair. I Thank you. Enjoy your day. Happy holidays. 
I genuinely think that with this clip here, there was just one massive misunderstanding between the two. The older lady didn't really make it clear cut initially at the start of the clip that, hey, I'm sorry, I would happily dye your hair another time, but not whilst just me in the store because I'd rather not damage your hair. She was kind of saying that she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want to do it because she doesn't want to leave your hair damaged when she has to go answer the door, but she didn't make it 100% clear like she did at the end where it's like, I would rather not dye your hair whilst it's just me in the store because I would rather not potentially damage your hair when I get interrupted to help other people. I just rather not do that. I don't know. I just feel like there's just a massive miscommunication between the two of them here and uh, the person behind the camera is just getting to a point where she seems to mistranslate what was happening there and assume there was some form of racist intent or something along those lines and is just going further and further down that rabbit hole even though the old lady tries to explain herself on multiple occasions. I don't know, I just think that was a massive misunderstanding there. First up, we've got a Karen who gets kicked out of a plane for comforting her dog who was whining inside of her carrier. No, you don't rock me. No, I'm not going to have you touch a thing of mine. You are rude, you are a mean person, and I will never fly Southwest again. Unbelievable. Come on, baby girl. We wish you the best of luck, honey. Thank you. This I'm amazing. sorry. This is I'm ridiculous. Sorry that oh, it's insane. It's insane. It's not like you even had the dog out. You no. had it no. where you were no. petting it. You should be ashamed of yourself. No. It's that. The, second. the complications of dogs on planes is a mess that I really just don't care enough to really go into. But if they let the dog in the plane in the first place and the dog's still in the carrier and she's just patting the dog to just make sure the dog isn't whining that much, I honestly don't see why there's a problem. Here we watch as a crazy Karen decides to attack an Amazon delivery driver and when they start calling for help, the other people in the room are just like, yeah, I'm gonna call security on you. This guy goes into this KFC Taco Bell because his boyfriend had a number put on their receipt by one of the employees. Basically, he wants to try and confront them about this for some weird reason. I really don't think it's the end of the world, but anyway, the employees there are really not having it. Good morning. Welcome yeah, uh, to my how you doing? All right. uh, my boyfriend was here earlier. He said that you wrote your phone number or his receipt, and I'm just here to check you and say, like, control your horribles or whatever's going on. I know he's fine. His name is Antoine. You work with her? Let me explain something to you. Yeah. I don't care about you nor Antoine. When you walk in here, Say good morning, like we said to you. Oh, okay. Good morning. Yeah. I don't care about no Antoine. I don't care none of that. You want I said good food? morning. No, I'm asking you. You want to order food? Yeah, I am. Can all I right. finish with it all? I no, want to I check it. I don't want to hear about none of that. You're not checking nothing here. Good neither. I'm checking off. Ah. Uh -uh. I'm checking lists and everything. Good neither. Christmas. And you had ho, ho, ho. Ah. Uh -uh. Yes, baby. Right back at you. You want some chicken? Oh, my God. All of y'all coming? Yeah. Welcome to our store. You ain't about to come in and check me. Nothing about Oh, my you. God. I thought I was in the suburbs. I thought I was this, this North Philly? Yeah. In Chester. Northwest Chester. We don't know who you talking to, bro. Uh-uh. And ain't nobody up in here with no If I would have got my nails done. <laughs> it would be order popping. Oh, baby, you would have had to bring your best. So I just better order my food and shut up. Food and go on about your business. Y'all will fight me? Knock you out. I got too many deep hands back here. I'm so honest. I've been a busting your hands. I love how quickly he backs off the moment he realizes that, oh, the entire store of employees are coming up to say, hey, order your food, shut up, and move on. Otherwise, we'll fight you. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Gotta love it when this happens. Here we have the gate Karen, who's harassing anyone who chooses to open the gate to come into this uh, uh, complex area, close the gate, and drive down this private road. Harassing anyone who dares to do that, even if they live in this area. Watch this. No, he's taking my picture. And I just, I just want to know how you, come you, you live in there? You live here? Only for eight years now. I've only had this conversation with you five times. Yes, and you keep opening five the times in eight years I've had this conversation you with you. Why are they closed? They are closed because the subdivision has said they will be closed for the so-called Amazon delivery drivers. Now, you 
Hey. You just answered the question. So why are you stopping me and asking me why I'm opening and closing the gates? Because I want to know okay. why you just You just said why. Subdivision. You just said why. You just said why. Because for now, the subdivision is closing the gates. They have been closed <laughs> for 30 years. Then why are you asking me why I'm closing the gates? I'm asking you why you're going through them, opening and closing them. Look, like the four conversations we've had before, yes. them are Mike Roman's gates, okay? Them aren't the subdivision no, gates. They are not your gates, okay? Oh, they are Romans. They are Romans. He, she knows this. She knows this. Karen knows this. Who's Karen? She knows this. Who's Karen? Karen, you live right there. Go home. Karen? Go, no, go, go home. Go home. I just want to know why you are special that you can go. I want to know what makes you so special to jump in front of people's cars and make them stop. I walked carefully. That was nice. No, she's done this five times, dude. Okay. I don't D think five I different times. Look, look, you've done it, okay? Because with the people that used to live over there in that condo that Mike was renting to, you freaking followed us all the way from the gates when you jumped in front of the car like you're doing now. Over to their house, over to their house, you was on their front porch screaming, yelling, and hollering about some people trespassing. They're not allowed in this Oh, my Lord. Well, take a picture. You want me to get in front of it and smile for you? You want me to get in front of it and smile for you? Oh. Well, he, he can tell you I live at 905 Lakeland, okay? <laughs> Are you guys like oblivious to, to this vehicle? Are you like not aware that this vehicle has been in here for 10 years almost? I know your vehicle. I mean, come on. I know what you drive. I know what you drive. I know what most people drive because I see most people's vehicles all the time in here. Well, no, that's because it's not your property to go through. <laughs> Hey, I got to go. I got kids coming home. I need to get home. So can you take your picture and move your, okay. move your, move, my move your butt out of the street so we can drive on the street. Me Karen. So I'm going to call you Karen. It's, it's please. Oh, please. oh my God. Could you have, you could have done this eight years ago? Are you the renter? Why didn't you do this eight years ago? Oh, you're the renter. Oh, now you know finally. You figured it out. Now take your picture and get the hell out the way because now you know I live in here. Thank you. <laughs> move. You need to get out. You need to move. You need to get it out of the street now. You need to move out of the road. Out of the road. This is for cars. Remember my nephew? Who was riding his dirt bike and carried out and you carried out on him and tried to yank him off his bike and then you took his thousand dollars phone and threw it on the ground? Do you remember that too? Because I remember that about your crazy too. He was 16 years old. He ain't no little liar. Okay, we saw his phone. His li his phone was destroyed and threw his phone. Let me guess. He did that on his own and decided he wanted to blame you. Okay, you need to move before I call the police. I'm gonna call the police and have them take you to your home so you can take your meds and, and go on about your day and leave people alone. You're crazy one standing in front of my car, not moving now that you know who I am. Thank you. I I just Hey, this lady, I'm this lady, she's been all one since we've been here. I wouldn't want to live with, I would is not permanently, son, I would not permanently want to live with people is like you. I yet? got the option to get the hell out of here and it's going to happen. I feel oh, sorry please, for people who own homes in here that have to live with you. Please get out.
Please get At least out. I got the option Please to get, get the out. hell out of here. Please Wait for me, you're crazy. Trash. Please <laughs> get out like What the is your problem now? I have no problem other than you. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. What's your issue now? Hold on. We got a we got a Karen. We got a Karen and a Kevin. This must be her brother Kevin. Go away now, bud. This must be brother Kevin, because I haven't even done or said anything to you. Well, then obviously. You and now you're saying that you wish, because I'm a truck in the middle of the road and your trailer and you were throwing gravel in the road and you prevented me from I was going throwing around you. gravel in the road oh he doesn't you mean I was first. putting gravel down at the gate that you think you own and that you I have right to your truck was impeding when it's my Mike's and it's not yours so, wait, just so now you do know so go so so there. okay this was all yeah, just ask, a big ass, ass, right ass, this was all just, just a big ass, ass, yo just you just you me. guys are lonely bored and need each other to start shit Mike, with people. I, would you please I ask see Mike who paid? But all I, I know, is, right? Wah, wah, wah. Well, that's because you're standing next to Karen here. No, no, I, I would think right that way, you, too. Boy, so I, I would think that way, too, if I had a Karen on my side. would be like, woo, what am I going to do today with the rest of myself? I'm going to start people. Anyone have a brick wall I could slam my head in against? Because the question that I want to answer is how many times, which is going to happen first? Me dropping unconscious because of me continuously slamming my head against the wall or her learning to shut the f up and move on? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that at home. <laughs> I don't get these type of people. It's just like, oh my God, you're trespassing. Yada, yada. I live here. I don't care. You're trespassing. Why'd you open the gate to come in and close it? That's bad the gate's meant to stay closed yeah that's why he closed it after he came in with his vehicle how is he meant is is his vehicle just meant to phase through the fence is that what you're expecting here how does he get his vehicle back in oh it goes through the fence he has to open the gate bring the vehicle in close the gate oh my god he did it Whoa. <laughs> just the insanity of some people just continuing to escalate problems until they get what they want which didn't even happen here like it's just so stupid oh and don't get me started on the other guy who decided to get involved after a bit jeez i'm just asking you can you please no, no. can you step back i just want to say one thing from right here understood but stay back i am so way. sorry for the way i talked to you you did not deserve that I lost my temper. I rebuilt a lot of things. You did not deserve all those words. You're not those things, okay? And I'm very sorry for that. You did not deserve that. I could have handled that better. I apologize. I appreciate that. Thank you. Got something about the police? Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, there's something you don't see in civilization that often someone actually apologizing for their actions. My God. In this next clip, we got a drunk Karen who is having the time of her life doing absolutely nothing at a bar. Welcome anymore. I never did nothing for 30 minutes. You've been harassing me for the time. Karen, what's your last name? <laughs> Tell him. Perfect what's your time. last name, Karen? No, I'm talking to you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard the whole Karen two thing? Losers. Have you heard this the Karen thing? Have you, the, have, you have you heard the Karen thing? Have you heard about the Karen thing? guys from the city, so you can't get laid for nothing. Have you heard about the Karen thing, Karen? Have you heard about the Karen thing? There's a okay, Karen. My name There's is Karen. a Karen right Good there. Luck. That's her. That's we'll her. Facebook, Karen with a capital K. Lives in Hackensack. Pays We're more money than everybody else in taxes, calling? apparently. The Bixby's or the Sears <laughs> or the... Uh, Tracy. <laughs> all the cops from, from Walker? You told me to. Yeah. You know, was me. <laughs> Don't you have something better to do? Oh, got an answer machine. Right. Seriously. Let's go. Oh, 
How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. 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 I mean, is there much to say about this clip? I, I'm pretty sure the idea of what happened here was that she was refused service because, well, she's clearly very flipping intoxicated <laughs> by just how her actions are, how she's slurring everything, how she's just a little woozy on her movement. She's definitely uh, a bit drunk to say the least. <laughs> so of course she's been refused service and usually they also attempt to try and get these people to leave from a bar as well because, you know, they don't want them to cause other issues with other customers, so yeah. Karen, who's being kicked out of an Uber, and when she finds out she's being recorded, she has the dumbest reaction you'll ever see. Actually, you've seen it already, this video, but you can watch it anyway. You want to throw them out? Yeah, the thing is open. Uh, so yesterday, I was crazy. <laughs> Okay, she just hit me. She hit me. She hit me again. Okay, she hit me. She hit me. She hit me. Oh my god. What is with some people? Whenever they see they're being recorded by someone who they're attempting to do whatever in the world they're currently doing towards them, they just go for the motion of trying to swat the phone out of their hands or hit them when they're being recorded. Uh, did you not just have the forethought of, oh wait, they're recording me. If I go to hit them, they're going to be recording me attempting to assault them. It only makes the criminal charges very easy. It's like, genuinely speaking, does anyone not just think for a moment? Actually, no, that's a pretty obvious question. No, no, they don't. They don't think. They just go, oh, I see red. I am a bull now. I'm going to hit your phone because you're recording me, even though there's going to be massive consequences that I will face down the line for doing such a thing, I'm gonna do it anyway, screw you. In this clip, a Karen gets uh, confronted by a person with a disability for being a bit of an asshole about their service dog. Hi, is Amy here? She is. Where is she? She is in the back. Okay, I need to speak to her. Okay. Somebody asking for you? What's the problem with my service dog going to the bathroom? Are you going to come in here with an attitude with me? First of all, you disrespected my mom. I'm asking you a question. What's the problem with my service dog going to the bathroom? Director, you call your landlord. What, yeah. what does that mean? If you have a problem, we don't deal with You just told her you, that she, my service dog can't poop right there if we, we're picking it up. I asked you guys to be discreet about... We don't need to be discreet. It's a you service dog. My, my, my disability is not discreet, is it? My disability yeah. is not discreet, so I don't need to be discreet Goodbye. about my service Goodbye. dog. If I have to hear anything Goodbye. else, I'll get my lawyer involved. Well, Thanks. Go ahead and get your lawyer. And you can get yours too, because you're. All I have to do is call and say okay. victim. Okay. Okay. Yep. Evict me because my service dog is going to the bathroom. Good luck with that legal case. Good luck. Know. It's an emotional dog. Yeah, my, uh, the, you know what my disease is called? That. You know what my disease is called? It's called myelin oligodendrocyclicoprotein antibody disease. I don't think that's emotional, honey. When I was blinded and, and paralyzed, okay? I go through frequent bouts of paralysis. That's not emotional. And right now, that's, that's very illegal. Cool. I have it on video, so if you want to keep talking, I would love that. It doesn't so matter. much more. Let's go. No, she's not going to. She's not. Uh, my disability is not discreet. This is not like I don't this. Need, Let's I don't, go. I don't need to be discreet. When you first moved in, I asked you, can you please take the dog? Can I hold tell on, you no, hold on, hold on. No, I need to talk now. And I said, I need to tell you something. I left out of here Monday and got into a car accident going out of this complex. That's the reason why I wasn't down at the dog park today. There was a huge fucking boulder in the middle of the road. Some kids pushed it in the middle of the street where you guys don't have lights down there and I got into an accident. I usually go down to the dog park, but you caught me going out here today, but I was in an accident so I couldn't drive down to the dog park. And you know what? I'm probably going to talk to you guys about that too because you guys should have that lit up down there and you don't. Okay, so back to You're the original issue. My, I, I had an accident. It's not an emotional support dog. You know Look, Both of you leave. 
Let's go. Let's go. It's illegal to no, do what she's no, doing. I don't care. I don't want to hear her. I don't care. She knows she's wrong. That's why you can't do anything. Try to evict me for that. Stupid. You're with the we deal with the owners. Okay. Okay. You better get What is it? Oh, are you kidding me? My dad just died. All right. You You're in. Wow. Oh, she's in. So what I can gather here is the dog decided to take a shite outside on the grass and they were going to pick it up right afterwards and this Karen had a lot big problem with that. With a dog going to the bathroom, despite the fact that they would have cleaned it up afterwards, they had a big... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on that first bit. It doesn't matter why that dog exists. What the fuck's wrong with a dog just taking a dump outside? If the person's got to clean up after their dog, why the fuck is it a problem? Holy shit! Like just before anything else in this clip, that first thing is just so blindstakingly dumb. Why the fuck would you care so much about a dog taking a shit in the grass or taking a shit outside when the owner of that dog will clean up after the dog taking their shit? Like what? Am I the only one perplexed by that entire decision making there? And then furthermore, I saying, oh no, you're not allowed to have an emotional support dog here. Yada yada yada, it's an emotional support dog. Motherfucker, how are you, who are you to say what type of service dog it is? Like, what the fuck? Like this entire thing is just a massive what the fuck moment. I'm honestly glad that here in Australia, one of the things with rental laws is you cannot have, you cannot deny someone from being in a rental house or kick them out of a rental house just because they have a pet of sorts. Not even just a service dog. Having a pet in general. If you have a cat or a dog, that can't be the reason why you deny them the ability to be out of rent in that house. That can't be the reason why you kick them out of that house. That will get you into legal fucking shenanigans that will fuck you over massively. I don't get it. Like... All of this over a fucking dog taking a shit. <laughs> wow. God. In this next clip, we've got a Kevin who enjoys vehicles so damn much that every time he sees a vehicle he's never seen before or he has a slight suspicion about, he must stop and take a photo of their license plate. Why? I don't know. Maybe he just likes cars that much. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Is everything okay, sir? Uh, you got my license too. You want my license? All right. Hey, hey, I appreciate you, man. Um, community, man. You know, community watch is good around here, dude. What's that? Community watch is good around here. I appreciate you being a good, a good citizen, man. Oh, you're on surveillance. That, that, that's. Are you? That's fine, man. You have a good morning, brother. You have a great morning, actually. Start right now. I'm sorry? We'll start right now. Alright, there you go, man. I think of it just like in one of two ways, either A, he's just like, oh, I haven't seen this car before, gotta stop, gotta take a photo of that, okay, another car of the neighborhood in the collection, I let's see if that one gets up into any trouble, or maybe a secondary art thing here, it's like, oh, this guy's got some equipment in the back of his car, I'm going to take a photo of that, for knowledge for later, what is he going to be doing, what, what house is he going to go to, it's such a weird thing to be doing, just like, you see a car, you hop, you stop your car, hop out, take a photo, and move on with your day, just because he said hi to you. <laughs> I mean, he, he, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's just odd. <laughs> Karen who's been kicked out of an Uber and when she finds out she's been recorded she has the dumbest reaction you'll ever see. Actually you've seen it already this video but you watch it anyway. You want to talk about? Yeah, the thing is open. Uh, so yes, Okay, she just hit me. She hit me. She hit me again. Okay. She hit me. She hit me. She hit me. Oh my god. 
What is with some people, whenever they see they're being recorded by someone who they're attempting to do whatever in the world they're currently doing towards them, they just go for the motion of trying to swat the phone out of their hands or hit them when they're being recorded? Uh, did you not just have the forethought of, oh wait, they're recording me. If I go to hit them, they're going to be recording me attempting to assault them. It only makes the criminal charges very easy. It's like, genuinely speaking, does anyone not just think for a moment. Actually, no, that's a pretty obvious question. No, no, they don't. They don't think. They just go, oh, I see red. I am a bull now. I'm going to hit your phone because you're recording me. Even though there's going to be massive consequences that I will face down the line for doing such a thing, I'm going to do it anyway. Screw you. In this next clip, we got a Karen who lives about four houses down complaining about noise on 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. Tired What's of going all on? the noisy parties. It's Saturday night, ma'am. What time it is it? It's barely Saturday nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock. But what's going yeah. on? It's noisy. I know. This it's is why noisy. we buy houses so we could do what we want. So that you can do what you want. If you're right behind us, we are four houses away, and you're so loud. And okay, what's knows. okay? What's your address? Since you came over here, can I know your address? No, no. But no. what are you what are you doing? I'm I don't think really nobody our neighbors over here are not even complaining. You're three houses away. It's you got okay. too many people. How do you know how many people we have? There's cars everywhere. So what? Okay. What's your name? I've lived in this neighborhood. What's before. your name? My name is Chris. Chris, and okay, look. back up, Chris. Okay. Oh. No, I said hello. No, Excuse that's not me. how you came at us. Well, you're you're in my sister's house, like literally. You could call the, the cops if you the want. There's nothing bad going on. This even oh, before oh, curfew. Don't do it's that. even before curfew. Like well, I don't know well, why you're. No what? It's nine o'clock. It's nine. It's early on a Saturday, ma'am. You could you could stay here and talk to my sister if you want. Yes, because how you did it right now was really not called for. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I understand loud neighbors are annoying, but it's 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. At that point, who the fuck cares? There's literally jack shit you can do about it, and there's probably nicer ways to go about it than just going and annoy them when they're having a party. Maybe uh, if it's going to be a one thing you want to complain about, if it's midnight or past midnight, then maybe I can understand you partly. But you're saying that you're multiple houses down, the other neighbors haven't really complained before, and you're just making a big stuffle about this because you're annoyed at it, and then you just give up partway through. You're, you're doing it at 9 p.m. Like, just, like, I don't get it. Maybe the next day, come, I was like, hey, uh, you guys, would it be, it'd be nice if you guys just maybe were a little bit more quiet on the Saturday nights, or maybe party a little less often, would be appreciated. Instead, you just come up all in their shit, interrupting them whilst they're doing their thing on a Saturday Saturday night, like, what the hell, man? Like, just what the hell? I get it. Noisy neighbors suck. But that's not how you handle them. Holy shit. <laughs>